One of the newest features on our new county uh, websites is this content slider or this image slider that you see here on the front page. Um, this is a really neat way to, to highlight some of the things that we have going on in the counties uh, through pictures. Uh, we do a lot of research just on websites in general. We found that people like to look at pictures uh, when they come to websites. So. Uh, this was created for us to add add pictures to. Um, you know, I generally want to keep it to around four or five pictures. If we get too many, then it's the slider takes a long time to go through, and most of the time people won't sit around and wait for all of those images to scroll across. So just try to keep it around four or five. I like the number four really because we could have three programmatic pictures, or in other words, a picture there uh, illustrating something from A&R, FCS, and 4-H, and then we could have a fourth picture that was kind of a seasonal picture. So the thing that we want to keep in mind here on these pictures is that the sizes have to be the same. Um, if we If we don't size these pictures right then it's going to cause some formatting problems um, and just give us a kind of a, a broken look and feel to the front page. So to do that we're going to utilize a program that we all have on our computers which is Microsoft Publisher and to fully utilize that I'm going to have to open up and create a template within my Microsoft Publisher to make sure that we get these photos the exact same size every time we upload one. So we'll just start in Publisher. So I'm going to open up a Publisher um, window here and drag it over into the screen so you can see it. So when you open up Publisher, this is the screen that you see, and I'm in Publisher 2013. So the first thing we're going to do is click on More Blank Page Sizes so that we can create our template. So when more blank page sizes come up, you'll see the standard, and then you'll see custom down here at the bottom. Now, I already have a template created, and I've titled it County Websites, but I'll show you how I did that. So we go into Create New Page Size, and I'm going to give this a title, and I'm just going to call it Front Page Slider. Okay, you can name it whatever you want to name it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Now, the width and the height are in inches. Uh, but the sizes that we need for these pictures to match is actually in pixels. Now, I've done the conversions uh, from pixels to inches, so we can, we're okay to leave it here in inches. So first, I'm going to change the width to 8.333, and then I'm going to change the height to 4.323. Okay, so what that is, that 8.33 equals 800 pixels wide, and the 4.23 or 4.323 equals 415 pixels tall. We don't really have to worry about the margins much because we really need our picture to encompass the whole template that we're going to make. So when I'm done, I will just click OK. So now we have our custom template here, and I'm going to select front page slider. All right, let me zoom out so we can see this whole thing. So, Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select a picture to use. So I'm going to select Pictures, and I'm going to go into my Pictures folder, and I'm just going to select a random picture here. Uh, let me just go into UT Extension Logos and select this UT Extension picture there, just the logo. Okay, so that, that looks okay, but I really don't like that white space being there. Um, and a lot of times you're going to have a picture that won't encompass this whole area. Uh, you know, if we tried to drag this out and make it, make it fit, then it's going to get stretched out and really look horrible. So what I want to do now is I'm just going to move this off to the side, and then I'm going to insert a text box. And I'm going to put a color. Once I get that text box set, then I'm going to go into Drawing Tools and Format. And then click on Shape Fill. And I'm just going to put, I'll just put a light blue color. Um, so now I will drag my image back over here. And you see that the image went to the background. Uh, because that was the first thing that I put on here, and then I drew that text box over it. So what I want to do now, with that image highlighted, as I dragged it down, I want to select Bring Forward. So when I click Bring Forward, it brings that image forward. Now, let's just say, for example, that I clicked off of it, and I couldn't, re I couldn't click on that picture after I dragged it. Then I just want to send the text box backward. 
So when I do that, it brings the logo forward for me. So as simple as that is, uh, all I want to do now is go into File and Save As. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'm just going to give it a name. Uh, first of all, I'm going to select a JPEG. And I'm just going to name this Training Image. Select Save. Okay, so now we have our image saved using the template that we just created. So next I need to go into uh, my county website, and I'm using Pickett County as the example here. Uh, and I'll delete this off of Pickett County, but just want to show you a county that's up and running so we could, we could add this picture. So I will go into Site Actions, and then View All Site Content. This is where it gets a little fuzzy, but hopefully it'll make sense to you. In all of your site content locations, under your picture libraries you will have a library called content slider images okay so what I want to do is click on that open it up and then select upload I'm gonna to browse to find my picture that I just created and it is right here training image so I'll highlight it and click open and then I'll click OK when I click OK, it gives me the option set to add some more information about this picture, but what I really need to get is the URL that is associated with this image. So if I click on this image, you can see another window opens that takes me to that image exclusively. This is the URL that gets me right to this image. So I want to click in that, right click and copy. Then I'm going to go back to this, go back to my image upload. I'm not going to add any information, I'm just going to click on Save. And I'm going to go back into Site Actions, View All Site Content, and now I want to go down to Lists and go into my Content Slider. So once I'm in my Content Slider, I'll scroll down to the bottom, click on Add New Item, and we'll give it a title, Training Image, and then I'm going to right click and paste. Now I'm pasting that URL from the image that I just uploaded and I want to type in the caption here. This is a testing image and I will leave the side text blank and I will click Save. So now we see our image there. It's a little bit longer than uh, than the than the rest of the images, but that's okay. As long as we use, because you're probably going to get rid of these images that came out of the box or in the templates that that we provided. Um, so I just want to, uh, as long as it's the same, we use the same template every time we create a picture, they're all going to be the same size. The website's actually going to resize the width of that image to fit within the allotted space. So when I'm done, when I've got it uploaded, if I go back to my home page, and I see, and I'm going to force it to cycle through by clicking these arrows, and so we see our image there show up, and it it's not... As I, as I said before, it's automatically resized the width to fit in the window that's allotted for us here. It, nothing's breaking as we move. As we see, if we uploaded an image and didn't run it through the template that we created, it could cause all this stuff to move around as this slideshow transitions back and forth. So we can see that we have it up there, and we're good to go. Now, if we wanted to delete an image, all we do is go into Site Actions, View All Site Content, go back into our Content Slider, and then select that image and then click delete and that's removed it so that does it for on how to create images to go on the front page of your county websites uh, if you have any questions let me know